Hey, you tired of being a skinny little weasel, fed up of having your behemoth ass buds towering above you? Well, have no fear. Because Pete's mega bulk weight gain shake is here. Just two cups of this magic potion every single day and you'll be behemoth within no time. You're welcome. Maybe not. How to go from skinny to jacked. Hello and welcome to the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering the question I get asked all the time, get DM'd, emailed in person, and that is how I went from a skinny weasel to the behemoth I am today. So I thought instead of just repeatedly answering this question, I'm going to make a video to it and then I'm just going to send people the link. So in today's video, I'm going to take you through the four steps you need to have successful bulk. It's going to be goal setting, workouts, nutrition, and setbacks. So yeah, make sure you watch all the video, grab yourself a pen and paper, and let's dive right in at goal setting. Goal setting is number one. Goal setting is gonna be the thing that helps keep you disciplined, help keeps you motivated when times are hard. Obviously, when you start something brand new, it's all exciting, but once after a couple of weeks and novelty wears off, having a goal, having your why is gonna be the reason you stay course, and that is essential. Bulking up takes a long time, so having the right mindset and having your why is gonna help you stay the course. I would start by grabbing a pen and paper and writing down reasons why you wanna change, why you wanna get bigger and stronger. I know the exact moment for me, I can give my example, that made me want to change in an instant and it was this photograph of me kind of like sitting like this i remember having that picture taken and thinking i feel good i look good and then seeing that picture months after it had been taken i was like what oh my god that was like the change for me that happened in mindset i was like i will no longer be this person I will be a stronger, better version of myself. And that was kind of the catalyst. Find out what yours is. It doesn't have to be that. It could just be anything. I'm actually starting another bulk now. And the reason for this is Loretta bought me this pretty sick jacket and it's way too big. And my goal now is to at least pad it out so I can wear this jacket in winter because it's a pretty sick jacket, right? Have your why, have your motivation, and also start believing that you are the new version of you. I recently read this book by Joe Dispenza called The Placebo Effect. So it basically goes into how powerful our mind is, how powerful our thoughts and beliefs can control our actions and our outer experience, and simply just by believing you are the person. Now, I think there's a saying where people say, like, dress for the job that you want. Believe you are the person that you want to be and you will start implementing habits and taking action and becoming the version of yourself you want to be. It sounds kind of maybe hocus pocus, hippy dippy to some people, but I know that it works. It definitely works for me. So just start acting, believing, seeing yourself as the new version and you will evolve into that version of yourself. Okay, so now you've got your goal, you've got your why, you can picture yourself in the future, being the person you wanna be. You can see it, you're excited for it. Now you're gonna to need to work out a workout plan. Your workout program should be focused on gaining strength because you can't gain strength without gaining muscle. You can't gain muscle without gaining strength. They're kind of intertwined, so that's gonna be your primary focus. To do this, you wanna focus on compound movements. What are compound movements? Compound movements are multi-joint exercises that work several muscles at one time. Basically the biggest bang for your buck and are gonna be the best way to grow your body. Compound movements are deadlift, squat, overhead press, pull-ups, push-ups, bench press, anything where you're working multiple muscles at the same time. If you're new to training, you want to predominantly build your work up on compound movements because this is going to elicit the most growth and give you the best results necessary. I have made a video specifically on designing your own workout program, so I will link that here. That goes more in depth, so that'll basically teach you everything you need to do to make your own workout program. Once you've got your compound movements all set up, you're then going to want to make sure that you are using progressive overload. What is progressive overload? Progressive overload is basically making sure that you increase the intensity from week to week. The most obvious example is adding weight. So if week one, you can do bench press for 60 kilograms for 10 reps. Week two, you'd wanna be doing like 62 kilograms for 10 reps, etc., etc. But you don't just have to increase the weight. You can increase the number of reps, the number of sets. You can increase the time under tension. There are many variables, but just make sure that you're following progressive overload. And this is gonna be the way that you know that you're getting stronger. If you're not tracking your workouts and you just do the same exercise week after week after week, you're not gonna build any stimulus on the muscle and you're not gonna grow. 
So yeah, making sure progressive overload is fundamental if you're looking to gain muscle. I would also suggest taking measurements. This is something I didn't do, but I will be doing this bog and measuring your biceps, your arms and all that kind of stuff. That can also be used as a way to gain your progress, like you are growing bigger and getting stronger in the right places and it's not just fat going to your belly. Finally, nutrition, the most important one and people always wanna ask about when it comes to bulking up. Nutrition is obviously very important, but I definitely think it belongs third. I think the workout and your mindset are definitely more important than the nutrition. But once you've got the first two steps in action, then it's time to head to nutrition. So if you're looking to bulk up, you obviously need to eat more calories than you are burning, putting you in a calorie surplus. How do you do this? Find out your TDEE, which is your total daily energy expenditure. If you type this into Google online, it'll bring up many calculators and then you can plug all your information it'll usually ask for your, like your age your height your weight etc and it will give you a estimated calorie expenditure it's as I say it's very estimated it's just a computer but it's as good as you're gonna get you can use several calculators to kind of get like a rough estimate for example my maintenance calories are around 2,500 so when I start my bulk I want to add 300 to 500 calories per day to my maintenance calories and that's gonna put me in a bulk how do I make sure that I'm gaining weight I'll just just simply weigh myself first thing every morning at the same time and then at the end of the week if my weight has gone up then I know I'm in a surplus I'm looking to gain half a pound to a pound a week if I have not gained any weight then I'll need to bump my calories up a little further if I've gained over a pound two pounds something like that bump your calories back down because you're gaining weight way too fast Next, you're gonna to wanna to figure out your macronutrients. I talk about this a lot in every video, but you're gonna to wanna to have your protein goal for about 0.7 to 0.8 grams per pound of body weight. So once you have that, the rest of your calories can be split into fats and carbohydrates. You're gonna to wanna to track your food using my fitness pal. So you can also use my fitness pal to set up your macros. So open up your macros, put in your daily goal intake. Say for example, mine is 3000 calories. I'll put 3000 calories in and I'll work out my protein, which will be 0.7 to 0.8 grams per pound of my body weight which is currently 165 pounds so that will be would be I'm just in the top of my head roughly like 130 to 135 grams of protein I think if not I will correct it now and yeah I'll plug that into my macros there and then you want to make sure you get in your essential amount of fats which would be about 20 percent so put that in your fats and the rest can be carbs but don't stress too much over it if you prefer having lots of fat to carbohydrates have more fats it doesn't really matter too much as long as you get in your essential fats in and your protein target the rest of the calories can be dispersed as you would like so the next question of nutrition is probably going to be how do i bulk up how do i get enough calories so if you're a skinny guy you most likely have a fast metabolism or you carry a lot of practices that keep you skinny so you're gonna have to basically reverse those and do opposite of things you'd want to do on a diet that is an example you want to eat highly calorie dense foods these are going to be like your nut butters your seeds your oils these kind of things that you'd stay away from on a diet anything that's high in fat is going to be high calorie super easy to eat and help you reach your calorie goal a big thing for me is smoothies blending things in smoothies. When I did my first bulk, I was drinking two smoothies a day and they're about a thousand calories each. It would be about six or seven bananas, a couple of tablespoons of peanut butter and some protein and it would be delicious and I'd down it and yeah, it was so easy calories. So you're just gonna have to find out what works for you. Get creative. Basically, you're looking for very low volume food that is high in calories. If you're really struggling, you can obviously eat some unhealthy food. That's very easy to get your calories up, but I would suggest we are doing this for our health and wellness. You still wanna be looking to get 80% of your calories from fresh whole foods and maybe 20% from not so good foods, but don't rely heavily on junk food. This is called a dirty bulk and will lead to a lot of bad habits and health implications along the way and it's not something I highly suggest. Finally, it's gonna be setbacks. I've watched a few of these videos before. Bulking kind of gets glamorized almost in the, the media, you know, just eating 4,000 calories a day, working out, feeling good and strong. But there are some downsides and yeah, I'm gonna go over them now and quickly how you can help avoid them or at least power through them in the future. This is probably gonna be the hardest one, so I'm gonna get out of the way. You're gonna look worse before you look better. People don't realize, and I think this is how people struggle to put on weight that when you start bulking that you're going to start eating in a surplus of calories and then a couple months later you're just going to look jacked the way muscle building works if you follow your plan perfectly if you do everything right your training nutrition your sleep is excellent you get enough protein you're eating perfectly in a surplus you're training really hard every pound of muscle you gain you'd be lucky if half of that is 
is muscle and the rest is fat. So basically, if you gain 20 pounds of weight, if you've done everything perfectly and it was amazing, you've gained 10 pounds of muscle and there's gonna be 10 pounds of fat. So you are essentially going to look fatter, but you have to trust the process. This It's impossible to gain muscle without gaining fat. You are gonna to have to be a little less fatter than you're used to, especially if you're used to being really skinny. You're gonna probably start growing a bit of a belly and you're gonna be thinking, what am I doing? Oh my God, I'm just getting fat. Yes, you're getting fat, but as long as you are progressing in the gym, you're getting stronger. Your lifts are going up. Use the body measurements, like I said before. You can strip down the fat easy peasy afterwards. It's so easy to diet after a bulk because your calories will be so, so high. So don't spin your wheels. I think this is a thing that a lot of people do, and that is you gain weight for a couple of months, then you feel a bit fat, then you diet it off, and then you're pretty much back to where you started, and then you do it again, and you're just forever spinning your wheels. Commit to the bulk. Commit to six months at least. I'm going to be doing another year-long bulk. A year is pretty much what you're gonna need if you wanna gain some serious muscle. And just know that it's only one year, whatever, how often do you really have your top off in front of people? You're gonna look bigger in t-shirts and just focus on the end prize. I think I've covered everything there. I hope I haven't rambled on for too long. There's a lot of information to process here. But yeah, basically you need to set out your goal, your why, work out your training, make sure you're tracking your training and getting stronger week to week, making sure you're following your diet, make sure even though you're bulking, you still need to track if you're unaware, make sure that you're eating in a calorie surplus and if your weight plateaus, you'll need to increase your calories further, make sure you're hitting your protein and your essential fats. Finally, focus on enjoying yourself. Focus on being able to eat a lot more food than you can normally eat. Don't focus on your belly getting a bit bigger and losing your abs. Don't worry about that. That is just gonna be temporary while you're focusing on building a stronger, better version of you. And then after that, you can cut it all off and show your hard work underneath. So I hope you found this video useful. If you think you benefit from more in-depth personalized training, I do offer online coaching as well as designing personalized training and meal plans. So yeah, check out the links below. Maybe a little extra help would benefit you otherwise if you follow the four steps in this process and stay committed for the course i'm sure you'll see great results nonetheless so i hope you've enjoyed the video drop it a like if you did it really helps the channel out and means the world subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next one